all the poetic devices from O oh Captain, My Captain by Walt Whitman. Yes, so you have approached the right channel and the right video. So, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will cover up with all the poetic devices from the poem. Also, I will link both of my videos of explanation and recitation in my description box. You can go there and check it out. So, today, let's do all the poetic devices. Before that, Let's know some of them which are prominent in this poem. First comes synecdoche. It is a figure of speech where a part is used to refer to a whole poem. For example, fast wheels, kind heart and great mind. Now let's know about anachronism. Anachronism is when a writer puts an object or a person in a time period in which it does not belong. That means there is no connection with that time still it has been given. That means time difference is the biggest factor in this figure of speech. For example, if a painter paints a portrait of Aristotle and shows him wearing a wristwatch. Now, let's move on to anaphora. It is a figure of speech where there is a repetition of same sound but the first chord changes. Like I have given the example, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times and similarly for whole. So that is it was the, that is getting repeated but not the whole thing. Now comes metaphor which is a very common figure of speech. A word or a phrase that is used in an imaginative way to show that somebody or something has the same qualities as another thing. But it is different from simile how in simile we use like but over here we don't use like or all those things. We just simply connect in such a way that you would feel that yes it has been connected to a non-living thing. For example her words were a knife in his heart can be a metaphor. Now let's come up with a very common poetic device and that is personification. It is a figure of speech where human characteristics are given to inanimate object. For example, daffodils. It is the greatest example that shows it has been considered as a crowd of people. Okay. Now, let's move forward with alliteration. It is the repetition of the same sound or letter at the beginning of words in a phrase. For example, better picked a pack of pickled papers repeats the letter P. You will find all the tongue twisters have alliteration as the most common one. Now let's move forward with all the poetic devices that we can find from the poem. I have highlighted it so it can help you a lot. First comes O Captain My Captain. Now it contains many things like repetition of phrase. See you will find it as the title of the poem and in all the three paras like this is the most common thing. Second is apostrophe and the third is anaphora. While follow eyes the steady keel, the vessel cream and dairy. It is the example of synecdoche. But go oh, hurt, hurt, hurt. Apostrophe and fallen cold and dead can be imagery and repetition of phrase. In all the three paras you will find this line at the end. And why it is imagery? See, all the lines in the poem can be imagery because if you try to visualize it, you can find the scene where Abraham Lincoln is dying dead. Okay. Now, let's move forward with the second para. Over here, the most important thing is you. You has been repeated five times. Okay. Flag is flung. That is alliteration F and F again. Captain here I mentioned in my previous video also it's an example of metaphor and it refers to Abraham Lincoln. Then comes ship that is also metaphor and it refers to the United States. Let's move forward with the last para. First comes his lips are pale and steel that is imagery and synecdoche. He has no pulse nor will synecdoche and safe and sound can be alliteration because S and S has been repeated. Exalto shows and ring o bells personification, a clear example. Mournful tread again personification. And voyage is a metaphor. It shows the journey or the civil war actually. So, did you like my video? If so, please share it with 
lots of people so that everybody